That's where we find Ray Collins and Alan Cohn live this evening. Ray and Alan. Haley, a day two of the session that began about 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan kicked things off right now. It's a Buffalo area Congressman Chris Collins at the podium. This is just another exciting chapter in our vacation to Florida. Certainly a nice attitude there. They were hoping for a, a sunset cruise tonight, Haley, but it's not the case. Some wind, but otherwise not a bad day, relatively speaking. Well, a disturbing story here everyone's talking about today. An Orlando father faces animal cruelty charges after police say he attacked a flamingo at Bush Gardens. That's, that's the important thing. That's the important thing. I'll let you get back. Thanks for your okay, time. Thanks. All right, Tony Felbaugh, a winter resident down here from Montreal. We're in front of the Excelsior here on Midnight Pass Road, a little bit north of Stickney Point. Before I send it back, I need to show you some of the damage here as the daylight continues to highlight what's going on here. There you, you see over there the fence. It was knocked down. I think, Ray, uh, it really catches you after a while when you're starting to hear and talk to parents that lose their children. But mixed in among the sadness and tears are also some positive stories, like 16-year-old Aaron of Sarasota. Wednesday will be a busy day for the president as he meets with leaders here at Central Command. At MacDill Air Force Base, Ray Collins, ABC7, your Suncoast News. It's been very tricky in the city of Sarasota. Yep. where labels have not been used and sometimes you don't know who, what the party is at all. He wasn't available to talk to us on Wednesday and as you're about to hear, he wasn't willing to talk to us on Thursday when we approached him in the parking lot. You won't talk about this? No. Tomorrow? You just want to stand behind the county charter? She got an endorsement, she got elected, and now she says she wasn't being entirely honest. Here. Commissioner right. Shelley Eddy was all smiles and hugs last May, but just six weeks later, Eddy has a confession to make. She wrote an email this week to the head of Equality Florida, a gay rights group, saying in part, because of my faith, I should not have completed the survey responses the way I did, and I should not have accepted your endorsement. We caught up with Commissioner Eddie late Wednesday at the Van Way Zone, asked her about accepting an endorsement for her pro-gay and pro-choice views, getting elected, and then telling the truth. That as an elected official, I do have the right to have some personal beliefs. It has not negated my um, commitment and ability to fight for equal rights for all of our citizens. She must resign from office or face recall. Gabriel Hammond of Sarasota says Commissioner Eddie also accepted money from the pro-choice group called Ruth's List. Will you return their money? Um, there hasn't been a request to return money. But it was an honor to be on the honor flight. Anchors away at the St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport, long before dawn, 80 World War II veterans in tan shirts are about to take off for a day they'll never forget in the nation's capital. For many of these veterans, they say the biggest surprise of the day was the reaction they received from total strangers. It's such a pleasure to realize that the people acknowledge the fact of what we all went through. I get the chills each time I watch Absolutely. that story. It's one of the biggest issues on the Sun Coast and beyond. Respect for law enforcement, and in some cases, a lack thereof. More on a special town hall meeting now from our Rick Adams. A possible snag in plans for a new development at US 41 and Stickney Point Road. Benderson Development is planning nearly 600 apartments, a hotel, and retail space. But the state now says there's been an increase in accidents around this corner. Benderson says it still plans to ask for rezoning later on this month. Well, all eyes are right now on Tropical Storm Earl. More on that in our first forecast from Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. That's right, the late Two minutes. Right back to you. Thank you, Bob. An undercover sexting ended in 18 arrests today in Manatee County. Detectives went undercover online and set up meetings with men who believe they're meeting with minors for a sexual encounter. There's a teacher shortage in Florida and also here on the Sun Coast. Sarasota's school district has 110 openings, the majority of which are for instructors. Not as many people going into the field of education anymore. Straight ahead, the official Suncoast forecast from Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan, plus free Zika virus test kits for some in Florida. We'll tell you who. And who would injure a flamingo at Bush Gardens? The story is next. Some extreme weather in the West right now, as Lauren Lister tells us, from a monsoon in Arizona to an out-of-control wildfire in California. 
A dangerous. For the first time, the U.S. Supreme Court has intervened on the controversy over transgender rights around bathrooms. The court voted five to three to block a transgender male student from using the boys' room in Virginia. On a lighter note, big night for the Rays. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Here's a free sample of our show. Well, something unusual tonight at the Rays game. After some lackluster play, including losing two in a row to the Royals at home tonight, they bounce back in a big way. Rays got on the board in the first inning. Already one nothing. Steven Souza Jr. rips a shot on the left field line. It stays fair for a three-run homer. Rays up 4-0. They go on to win 12-0. Where were these guys the past few weeks? The final game of the four-game series is tomorrow. Matinee game, 12-10 p.m. in St. Petersburg.